Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is when get older, older And we are being joined with our dear friends Sharon and Martin and they're travelling in the Big Sur and they're joined with their wonderful dog Lily. This week we go up the southwestern side of the Polyponese from Finicunda to Gialova. And not far from the campsite is the fabulously stunning Voidakilia Beach. going out today. Things are in their bikes. Mum's going on the back of the scooter. She's quiet. Going to go snorkeling and on the beach. Just have to wait a minute. Lily's getting ready. This is our pitch in Camping Herodias, close to Geolova, or more importantly, about a 20 minute cycle to the beach of Voidaliki, which is a lovely goldy sandy beach. Um, and as you can see, straight out onto the beach from our pitch, into the sun beds, nice sandy beach. It was very, very hot last night, very warm and muggy. And uh, the wind's picked up and the clouds have arrived. It's cooled down a bit. And then we'll show you around. This is the beach right outside the campsite. Over there is the town of Pilos that we spent a nice coffee morning. And it was 27.50 with electric in September and 26 in October. The shower room etc are very clean so we'd recommend it for that. Just leaving camping Erodius. I've had to um, de-needle it from all the needles that have fallen off the tree and it's a dirty girl now isn't she? Yeah. 
and it's expensive because it was a euro for a croissant so it was about that big this morning um, expensive but quite nice sight really and uh, heading off for fuel and then Kalamata So it's described as a chaotic site, but actually it's more of a shambles. So we're in Camping Fair Kalamata, which is close to the Kalamata town. There's a bus outside and you can walk in. We did a walk yesterday, which took about 20 minutes to get to the port. Um, a very long promenade. It's 18 euros a night without electric and 22 with. Um, Kalamata is the second biggest town in on the Pel Peloponnese in Greece. Uh, it has a church, a castle, monastery which makes silk, old town. Um, but we're just doing the one night. That's the shower block. Showers are quite big, um, but the actual shower is pretty poor. I can say the receptionist was really, really friendly. Um, and we went for a pizza last night in the restaurant, which is right by the site. But we're off to do littles and head off today. And oh, there's a cat coming. So this is me signing in and out. Oh, and there's another shower block. Oh, and I went to use the washing machine, which was only one euro, but it was empty but full of dirty, muddy water. And this right, Lynette. We're not messing about with cats. We're off over the sea. The beach is just outside the campsite across the road there. That's about it. That sums up Kalamata for you. Um, I should point out, today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday and the doors around here are shut on a Sunday. Come here. Look. You can go under the road to get to the sea. Let's go have a look at this beach before signing off completely. Oh, the receptionist also showed us around beforehand just to make sure we were happy, but we didn't really have anywhere else to go, so we can stock up tomorrow or today. In Liddles, and this is our this is where we stayed. Okay, so over there in the distance is the commercial port. Clue number 385. And um, uh, past that headland down there is where we're heading today. Stupa, I think, after we've shot in Liddles. So early check out, and then off we go to Liddles. <laughs> Excitement of the day. Well, it was supposed to be yesterday's excitement, but it was shut. Here we go. It's a 
nice mountain though that it's near. Anyway, moving on, no time to climb. Breakfast stop after Lidl's. I know where you're going. On the way to Stupa. Stupa, Stupa. Apart from the road noise. Best breakfast stop we've ever had, I think. Mm. And look at the water. Zena. Let's watch that Zena. Oh look, it's a nice tire on the on the beach in front. Oh, and there's a queue. Camping Caligia. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep, let's go and see if we can check in. Otherwise, uh oh. So we just left Caligrios Beach because it's August, sun chairs and umbrellas, and it was 30 euros to have a sunbed. And we just come across the over the hill into Stupa. Interesting church over there. Still like Sunbed City. I hope. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a snorkel. Dogs go for a really weird swim. Madness. And then it's just gonna lick her. <laughs> I know. beach where we went snorkeling yesterday. We're just heading into Stupa, through Stupa, and into Nicolaeus or whatever it's called. There's a little bridge there across to that rock. Five kilometres is it? 0.7 I think. So this is the walk from Stupa to Nicolaeus. I see him, it's just over there. Just walked through an olive grove. 
now we're walking the coast path. Yeah, some really nice properties around here. And, uh, the one in the background there looks like it's not been finished. Looks like they've run out of money, but it's been really tastefully done up to that point. So yeah, it's nice. Nice walk so far, not too hot for the dogs. So, yeah. Dogs have got their cooling jackets on. Sorry about the wobble there. The dog got the lead tangled up with me. Not wall to wall blue sky today, but still beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very mountainous as well. And uh, we're quite. Where are we? We're quite far down. We're in the Peloponnese. <laughs> Another unfinished property. Probably looks like it's not been touched for about three years, probably pre COVID, I would think, and then building stock. Even got its own access down to the beach and a proper style bench. What do you reckon, Mrs? Should we put an offer in for it? Yeah, but house prices here were quite a lot. Though. They are, yeah. 300, 400 grand just for a plot of land. Some um, luxury villas up for rental. Stunning location. Look really well done. Three of them. Their own pools and everything. a long way so far haven't we right from that point there where you can see the ship in the far distance yeah that's stunning isn't it Zena? Zena's parking herself here. It's not a bad spot, Zena, then. <laughs> Yeah. 
So here we are at the top of the Nani Peninsula. Yeah. And it's Agnes Nicolaeus. Nicolaeus. Lovely. Just as it goes, there's Dave's sister and brother-in-law on the motorbike going past. As you quietly sip your beer, there's Sharon and Martin in the distance with Millie. Well, this is a lovely, lovely walk from Stupra to Agnios Nicolaeus. And now we're heading back to Stupra. You can't get much better than that, can you? Absolutely stunning. Beautiful water. Mountains. Okay, what? Lovely. Can you get my camera out now as well? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you get yours out. <laughs> Going into Stupin now. Look at these lovely things. I'm going down towards Luna and give you a scale of things. <laughs> no, you're pretty, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you for watching, and as always, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Bye!